Welcome back. Well, the Women's Foundation of Southern Arizona has a lot of exciting news about their efforts and the impact they're having in our community. Here to break it all down for us today is Don Bell. Don, I said you've got a lot to talk about today. We have a lot Woo! going on. But it's exciting. It exciting. So let's kind of start with what is that impact? What is, you know, really what you're doing for women and children here? So we at the Women's Foundation, like you, like many of your viewers, we believe that to create change, we need to invest in women. Uh, this year we'll be awarding 400000 in grants to 20 organizations in Southern Arizona working with women and girls, and we're really improving lives. Wow. That's, that's a big number, and that's a good number. That's it's a big number. The need is greater than, than we can respond to right now, so we're growing to be able to, to do more. Excellent. Well, I actually want to dive right into the biggest event that you have all year. It's your annual luncheon. It's going to be on April 22nd. Tell us a little bit about that. So this is easy to remember. April 22nd is our 22nd annual luncheon. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, it will sell out. We're expecting a crowd of 900. You can get your tickets now on womengiving.org. Uh, this is the event of the season. Come to network, come to celebrate women leaders, come to recognize leaders in our community. And have you, have you been? Do you know about the centerpieces? No. Oh. So the wine bags are extra special this year. 100 mm. lucky guests walk away with a centerpiece at the luncheon. And this year, all of the wine are women vintners and women wine owners. Oh. That is really cool. Yeah. You know, and I, one, I adore the fact that we are helping other women, we are bringing up other women, we're supporting. I love that when it, when it comes to that. But I also love when you say come and network, because I say networking is priceless. You can't buy that. That's something you meet somebody and then you realize, hey, we have something in common. There's something we can do together to, to make our, both of our lives and our businesses better. So I love that. Absolutely. The, the energy in the ballroom is electric. Mm -hmm. It's at the Tucson Convention Center. It will sell out, so we're telling people to buy their tickets early. And now the Women's Foundation actually just released a new research report. Will you tell us a little bit about that? We, I will. The, the statistics are sobering. So uh, we've released this research uh, looking at the last six years, the impact of the recession in the state, mm -hmm. and uh, choices in the state budget and how it's impacting women and children. So there are over half a million women experiencing poverty in Arizona. Um, we all know that for single parent households, 80% of the single parent households living in poverty are headed by women. So when we have cuts to higher education, uh, budget for higher community colleges cut by over 50%, that really impacts women first. Uh, people don't know, and this is a really important statistic, a woman who has an associate, associate's degree or some college earns $6,000 a year more than a woman with just a high school degree. Really? So we're talking about this research, we're talking about these policies because we believe to grow our economy in this state, we have to invest in women. Absolutely. And we're talking about how this foundation helps that along and what you guys are doing for us. And you actually are able to tell us about a, a personal story. And I love getting a personal story about somebody that's impacted because it kind of puts like a, a face to what, what we're talking about. That's right. The numbers are important, but the stories really, yeah. really tell. Um, and I think we might have a, a photo of her. Uh, so I'm delighted to share the story with her permission. This is a woman who's benefited from the Women's Foundation and several organizations that we grant. Her name is Celerina. Uh, she survived a really tough, tough life, tough situation. Um, she's fond of saying when she left her abusive uh, husband, she left with just her purse, but now she has everything. Thanks to getting shelter, thanks to getting legal help with her divorce, and thanks to programs that helped her uh, with financially and with housing, and now she's giving back and helping other women. Um, she'll be joining us at the luncheon on the 22nd, and I love to tell donors, really, when you give to the Women's Foundation, you're giving once, but your impact will be 20 times over because we go out and find and fund the great organizations in Southern Arizona that are helping women like Celerina. So at the luncheon, we're going to hear personal stories like hers. Who else are we going to be hearing? We're going to hear personal stories. We're going to hear um, from several organizations that are receiving funding. And you're going to hear from the young women in our leadership development program called UNIDAS, which is for high school girls learning about uh, feminism, learning about philanthropy, learning about giving back in the community. I love that. This sounds like a really, really special event. I hope you'll both join us. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> now, what if any of our viewers watching today are thinking, you know, I, I feel like this is something that I could really benefit from. I need some help. What, what are the ways they can get in touch and maybe start on these programs? Yes, we'd love to hear from them. Uh, so the best way is to go to our website, womengiving.org, or give us a call. Uh, the Women's Foundation is was founded and built and led by volunteers. Um, we're a small but mighty staff of really, we have four employees and hundreds of volunteers. So we'd love to hear from folks about how they want to be involved. They, there are short-term things they can do, long-term things they can do. Uh, be a part of creating change in this community. 
Well, whether it's, you know, calling to be a volunteer. Now, when it comes to the luncheon, anybody can come to this, right? Anybody. Men, women, all ages. Uh, this, this is really uh, the event to be at this April. Because I, I say it's a community thing. Yes. Yeah. Who are you especially hoping shows up this year? Ooh, that's a great kind of question. Uh, well, in addition to you and your viewers, <laughs> <laughs> we really want um, we really want people who are committed to making a change in our community. And there are so many people who we we know one person can make a difference. Um, so we, we're really welcoming and opening the doors this year. Don, I really like that. And if you're watching today and you want to be one of those people that make makes a difference in our community, and they're looking for a way to do it, this could just be for them, right? It could be just this for them. This is. Yeah. This is the time. Well, thank you so much for being on and telling us all about this wonderful event coming up. Thank and you. like we mentioned, the 22nd Annual Women's Foundation Luncheon will take place April 22nd at the Tucson Convention Center. To learn more, you can call 622-8886 or visit their website, womengiving.org.